The countdown is on and people are getting prepped for Monday's total solar eclipse. It's like a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's very special, very, very special. At San Francisco's Exploratorium, these glasses are going fast. Uh, people will come in, search around with their eyes and I know right away they're here for eclipse glasses. The protective eyewear, their number one seller as the big day nears. I know that a lot of their concerns are making sure that they're getting glasses that are actually safe up to standard code. Uh, and if you look at the glasses, we actually have certain specifications and guarantees printed on the side. This will be the last chance to see a total solar eclipse from the U.S. for quite some time. The next one isn't expected until 2044. Hearing that it's a 20 years from now to see the next one, um, you definitely want to see it. You don't want to miss that. I was thinking of skipping school, but I realized that it was going to happen sometime in the morning from like 10 a.m. to 12, and that's before my class, and I'm just very excited. We're, we're actually like looking up spots to like check out where to go and, and, and like what's the best place to see the, the eclipse and stuff like that. And some are putting themselves right down the path of totality, spanning the U.S. from Texas all the way to Maine, plunging areas along the path into darkness for about four minutes. Uh, we used to live in the Bay Area and we came here to visit friends and we're on our way to Columbus, Ohio to see the solar eclipse where his family lives, my husband's family. The couple wants their three-year-old daughter to have what's expected to be one of the best views. I think I just want her to be excited about the, the world that we live in and aware that there's um, something kind of beyond the sky that we see. Yeah, that's right. Tara Campbell, ABC7 News.